And to discuss the evidence of Australian involvement in the coup against Chile's Allende government, we now welcome Dr. Rodrigo Acuna, an expert on Latin American politics and the host of Alborada's Indestructible podcast, who joins us from Sydney. Dr. Acuna, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Rodrigo, an Australian tribunal heard the case on whether to declassify documents regarding the role of Australian intelligence in the 1973 coup this week. What can you tell us about the revelations and the case for declassification? Well, I, I, I can't tell you much in terms of the developments within the court because the Australian Attorney General, uh, Michaela Cash, has imposed uh, quite tight restrictions in terms of how um, or the access that the media can have to the court's proceedings. So basically we heard the opening um, arguments and then the court was basically, um, uh, sh sh uh, you know, the, me the media was uh, shut out of the, of the court proceedings. The background to the story is basically that it is well known here in Australia that in 1973, there were two ACES, that's the Australian Intelligence Organization, Two Australian ACES agents were in Chile during the, or just prior to and during the coup d'etat against President Salvador Allende. The two agents were actually requested by the Australian Prime Minister at the time, who was the progressive Australian Prime Minister, Gough Whitlam, to be recalled back to Australia. And those orders were actually defied and that actually didn't take place. So... Many people here in Australia have been attempting to discover what these two agents uh, were doing in Chile and what their actual role was. Now, the Australian Intelligence Organization and the uh, Australian government has always refused to provide details until recently a, a former intelligence agent and a current university professor, Clinton Fernandez, actually uh, commenced legal proceedings against the Australian government in an attempt to discover what these two agents were doing in Chile. Rodrigo, following this week's hearings, mainly being held behind closed doors, the tribunals reserved its ruling for a later date. Do you think we can expect anything to come of this case, or could a ruling be indefinitely delayed? Um, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I think that the Australian government is... is it's very difficult for the Australian government to argue that it is a matter of national security. Um, the Cold War, of course, is is, is over. Um, the CIA itself, who was a key protagonist during the coup d'etat against the Yende, has revealed enormous amounts of archives in terms of their role in Chile in 1973. So for the Australian intelligence organization to argue that it is a matter of national security is a little bit um, difficult to, to believe. Rodrigo, this is not the only case pending a decision by an Australian court linked to the coup and the Pinochet dictatorship, is it? Correct. The former intelligence agent Adriana Rivas, who was herself the personal secretary of Manuel Contreras, who was the head of Chilean intelligence during the first few years of the military dictatorship by Augusto Pinochet. She herself uh, was discovered a few years ago to be living here in Sydney, in, in Bondi, passing herself off as a nanny. Now, she actually fled Chile a few years ago because she had been arrested and uh, legal proceedings against her were about to commence regarding the disappearance of numerous uh, opposition members uh, against the Chilean uh, dictatorship. Now, she was eventually arrested because of a mass campaign that members of the Chilean community commenced um, for that to actually occur, for the Australian government to actually honour its extradition agreement with Chile. There is a extradition agreement between the two countries. She was eventually arrested but she has continued to appeal the decision which eventually did go against her for her to be extradited to Chile. And it looks like now she has reached the limits of those appeals. So it appears that uh, within the next month or so, we may well hear a final decision in terms of her extradition. And many members of the Chilean community are optimistic that she will be extradited to Santiago to face criminal charges for the execution and possible disappearance of several members of the uh, opposition to the Pinochet military regime. 
Dr. Rodrigo Acuna, expert on Latin American politics and the host of Alborada's Indestructible podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today and for offering your insight into these revelations on Australia's role in the 1973 coup against Chilean President Salvador Allende. Thank you. Thank you.